Crema. Up next is the artist spotlight. All right, y'all, here we go. Y'all know what time it is. It's the artist spotlight. This is where I get up close and personal with the artists in the building. But you know, unfortunately, we ain't got a lot of money. So you know they ain't in the building. But they on the phone line feeling fine, GY, doing what they do. And who am I? You know who I am. Your boy, your friend, your host, your cousin. Rap Media Cool TLC. And on the phone line, representing all the way from the ATL, making it hard and swell. You know with the good clientele, that's how we do it. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Make some noise. Let me hear it. Give it up for Patricia Goins. <laughs> word up, word up, word up. There it is, there it is. How you do? <laughs> I am doing fine. How you do? Okay, I'm doing good. I do good. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm doing good. How is the weather where you at right now? You know what? The weather is much better than it was yesterday because it was cold. I think I think the weather in Atlanta is bipolar. <laughs> right. <laughs> the weather is bipolar. That's hilarious, right there. Uh, yeah. Well, well, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of like cold. Let the story be told, but we gonna be all right because we keep it hot in here. I know that's right. Yeah, because we got to pay the bill. So we keep it real hot up in here. So without a shadow of doubt, let's get off into this interview. And I want you to tell my 800, 650,000 people listening (laughs) what and why Patricia Goins do what she do. All righty. So Patricia M. Goins is my name. Actually, I go by my middle name because... There's a whole bunch of Patricia Goins out there, and I don't want anybody to get confused about who I am. So it's Patricia M. Goins. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so where do I start? Where do I begin? Oh, my gosh. This journey um, started whew, about 20 years ago when I took a step of faith and came to Atlanta, discovered that I could write, that I could sing, that I could do a whole bunch of stuff. I started working on it. So I, I start, every this journey started off with a poem called This Can't Be Love. It's the first poem that I wrote in 1999 and from okay. there the poem turned into a book and then from the book it turned into a movie and then from there it turned in I started working with artists and I and I and, and I was getting frustrated with dealing with the artists so I ended up starting to push myself and decided I want soundtrack song for the movie and so okay. from there and meeting all the artists and having radio shows I met Mr. Hanky Mr. Hanky dropped a, a, a really nice beat on me um, and I decided that I was going to turn it into Superwoman because I felt you know for the character in the movie and even for my own life you know okay I have been a Superwoman she was a Superwoman she overcame so much you know right and at the end, of course, every good story has it where the good girl gets a good guy. And I just felt like, you know, with this superwoman, if she has a superman behind her back, she got going on. So that's where the superwoman came from. And that's the soundtrack song, song for the movie This Can Be Love, which started as a poem. So this whole journey okay. started with a poem. Okay, so it just started off with a, a couple lines a good poetry and turned into something incredible. It's something in- something that I never imagined. Okay, so seeing that you you've been in entertainment and, and you've been doing it for a while, what, where where did you get your start? Like, what what really pushed you into it? Um, I would say, um, I think that my first start with you talking about as an artist. Yeah, as an artist. Okay. My first start with the artist started in Atlanta. I had a radio show called um, Around the World Radio. And I started dealing with uh, independent artists, right? Okay. And from there, I ended up, um, after that show, I ended up moving to uh, Chicago. And so I started dealing with on events for independent artists and stuff and, and trying to manage artists or whatever. And they was working my nerves because, you know, artists, right. they are the, ooh, they the worst. And so... Prima donna. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And it got so frustrating. So I was just like, you know what? I can sing. So let me see what I can do. And that's kind of like how I got into the music. So first I was pushing other people, but then after a while of dealing with them, I decided... 
I can push myself and I ain't got to deal with all the BS that comes with dealing right, with artists. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Well, that, well that's, a, that's a good thing right there. That's the truth. That's the truth. If it ain't never been true, do it for yourself if you can't do it for somebody else. Uh, oh, yeah. So, just to let y'all know, y'all listening to the Artist Spotlight with your boy, your friend, your host, your cousin, Rap Media Cool TLC. And this is where I get up close and personal with the artists in the building. But, you know, we ain't got them in the building. Actually, we got them on the phone line, and she's doing her thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Give it up for Patricia M. Going. <laughs> Woo, a crowd of us. All right. <laughs> So, uh, seeing that you into, you know, uh, the, the music and stuff like that, do you play any instrument yourself? No, I don't. No. Okay, okay, okay. I wish I did, though. Okay, okay. If you could, what, what instrument would you play? The guitar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I love the guitar. I think it's just so smooth, you know? Right, right. It, it's, it's something to, I think that, that kind of looks sexy, too. Seeing a, a, mm. a, a woman holding a guitar, you know what I'm saying, and, he, and she's singing at the same time. Yeah, I think that. I think that's why I used to love Indy Irie so much, because I just thought it was so cool that she had the guitar and she could sing and... You know, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's definitely it. So, uh, seeing you on your journey and doing your thing like that, uh, have you traveled in any places? You know, doing it. You know what? I was um, when Mr. Hanky, uh and the funny thing is, the song Superwoman came out before California. It came out before Living Your Best Life. All that kind of stuff. But because our kind of kept it for the movie it didn't really you know oh, go okay. crazy wild as far as mainstream but i i started uh touring with coast to coast mixtapes okay. and so because of them i was able to perform um superwoman in miami chicago atlanta california you know la new york so yeah i traveled around performing and everywhere i went like they loved it. Like, right, right. Mad love. Right, it definitely, definitely hot. Um, and, and, and Mr. Hanky, I mean, was that just like a phone call or, you know, like how did that really happen? Like, you know. So Mr. Hanky first came to my atmosphere um, when I was on my radio show, Around the World Radio. So we were supposed to have him in as a guest. So we, the communication started then. Something happened with the schedule. And he was on. So anyway, that show ended. And then I was on another show in Atlanta before I moved to Chicago called Talk That Talk. And he actually was able to come in for that interview. So we kind of built a friendship from that, from that time period. That was like 2002. And so we started building a friendship or whatever. And then when I got to Atlanta, it became an email thing. And I was just like, Mr. Hank, you know, during that time when I was ready to start doing my own thing, I asked him, I said, can you send me some beats? You know, what's your price? What you do? You know, and at this point he was on the, you know, he hadn't done anything in a while since Wobble or whatever. Right. So, you know, you can catch him when they ain't really doing a whole lot. So he, he sent me the music. And when he sent me the beat for Superwoman, he was just like, here's your hit so I'm like okay so I went into the studio laid it down whatever whatever and the rest is history you know wow wow just just off of a uh, you know uh, conversation you know what I'm saying most of the times it happened off of that anyway um, right, and, and, and seeing it you know you, you hooked up with Mr. Hanky I mean that's that, that, that's hot in itself um, I know right <laughs> right yeah that's, that's hot in itself right there like he was just saying, hey, that's Mr. Hanky. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know him. He ain't nobody I know him. You know what I'm saying? That was the kind of, you know, that. Uh, well, let's, let's say this. If you uh, if you had, like, five people off the top of your head to collabo with, and you could collabo with anybody. No. Like, who who would it be? Who would it be if you had five people off the top of your head? Oh, my goodness. That I could, like, do a song with? Yeah. Okay, I love um, Neo Soul, so it would have to be India Irie, Jill Scott, Music Soul Child, um, um, uh, 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 who else? Uh, Jennifer Hudson, I love Jennifer Hudson. Okay. And um, Anthony Hamilton. That, that's a hot five right there. That, that <laughs> is really a hot five. Yeah. And, 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 you, and you know what? It, it, it's so funny that you even say that. And you said Jill Scott. You 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 know I can hook you up, right? Yeah, my cousins 
cousins, cousins, cousins play cards with they cousin on Thursday. So, you know what I'm saying? I can hook it up by ways of not direct, direct, but, you know, you know, the kind yeah, of cousins, like, cousins. Third, third, third. Yeah, that kind of <laughs> hookup. But I can get you in there. You know, I just can't guarantee if it's going to be really drilled on the phone. So, but right. you know what I'm saying? I can <laughs> hook it up, though. I got to get, get you some. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? To make it hot. Um, seeing that, that you know, uh, like you say, you travel in certain places like that. Where else would you like to travel? You know, other than than uh, state size or, or or abroad or something like that. You know what? I have this dream. Okay. I want to one day be able to go to Paris. You know what I'm saying? That's like my dream. Like, oh. and I don't even know why it's my dream, but it is. Like, there's nowhere really in state side and you know in the U.S. that I just like, have this big dream to go to because I I've gone. I went to L.A., I went to Miami, I went to New York, you know, I've done all that. But I've never been out the country. So going out the country, anywhere would be a big deal, but going to Paris would be like icing on the cake. So, Mon Chalet, you would like to go to Paris so you can, yeah. you know, <laughs> go around on the, you know, the river of love and, and <laughs> sing your songs <laughs> and, and have people, you know, we, we, Mon Chalet. So, yeah, I, I don't know French. I just know French fries. So, you know, uh, that's that's cool. That's that's where you, 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 you see yourself. And if you, you know, you put it in existence, it will be. So that's you know, a good thing. Uh-huh. When I came up with the company Around the World Media, I really wanted it to be Around the World. And it's crazy because when I came up with Around the World Media, you know, um, it was really to, it was to promote myself, but I wanted to be able to promote other people too. And I wanted that to be Around the World. So I haven't made it physically Around the World, but I know it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, it's it's definitely you going to be around the world. And, you know, just saying, you know, I I, I know you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just say, I know her. I I know her. I mean, we cool. We did an interview. I heard that name. (laughs) Right. We did an interview and everything. But um, um, seeing that that, 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 that it is like that and, uh, you know, I I always like to compare music and stuff like that, you know, even with the independent artist. I always compare if, you know, music to what it used to be in 1990, you know what I'm saying? Because I mm-hmm. figured 90 mm-hmm. was the innovative time for music because it was all kind of changes and different instruments and all that. How do you I don't even know what this music is they got going on right now. This right, music right. from this new millennium generation, I don't even know who they uh, what that is. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, it's, it's a whole lot of... Uh, 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 and I'm like, okay, is that the only thing that we can do? You know, or and better yet, if one more person, you know, has to be on the block shooting up the whole crowd oh. and making dollars, and if I hear another one, <laughs> right, right, like for real, like everybody gonna be a drug dealer? No, nobody's everybody. gonna be the crackhead. Okay, I got you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I just don't understand it. Uh, Seeing that the music in the '90s was innovative, what do you? You gave me a little bit of it, but how, I mean, what do you feel about the music now? I mean, you gave me a little bit of it, but I just don't think that they have enough creativity. I think that they don't have enough creativity. A lot of them will put out music, but they only put out music for themselves and for the streets. They don't make any type of commercial music that can really hit mainstream. Like a lot of them will send me music, and it's like, yeah, and MF, and yeah, and gun, and pop, pop, pop. And I'm just like, I can't play that over the radio. Like I understand right. you gotta have your street hustle, and that's all good and dandy for your mixtape. But if you want to get to mainstream and you want to play it on the radio, you gotta have something else too. And and be creative with it. Use creativity. See, the problem is they're so used to living the street life that they don't know how to use their creativity. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You hear the church in the house? Mm-hmm. That, that's right there. That was that was Pastor Patrice M. Gone. If y'all ain't understanding. She was just speaking the gospel to y'all. Y'all ain't even understanding. Um, yeah, right. I mean, you 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 telling the truth of what it is. I mean, there's some artists out here that are creative. It's some, but you can't. They they can't break through because you listen to all this. Everybody's, you know, turned up, got money. You know, ain't nobody broke. 
Let don't let, and, let and, ain't nobody. And doing. they don't support each other. It's like a dog eat dog world out right. here. Instead of the independent artists sticking together, buying each other's music, supporting each other, whatever, whatever, whatever. They won't do that because they see each other as competition. So because they're not seeing each other as as let's do this, we in this together, this is the movement and working together as a team, they're all everybody is like, you know, trying to outdo the others. There's no unity. And so because there's no unity, it's like everybody's still buying all the music from, you know, the known artists, which is no, no problem with that, but also support your unknown people. You know, you'll share a post for, you know, Nicki Minaj, but you won't share a post for a female rapper that you know is dope that has a, a music video out or whatever. You won't share right. hers. You right. won't promote her, but you'll promote somebody that you know. You know what I'm saying? Right. You'll buy Nicki Minaj, but you won't buy the independent rapper who's been out here hitting the pavement at every show, at every event, doing her thing, and she's dope. They do it right. or he's right. dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, I mean that's that's and it's just like wh- where is the fans of, of the artist? You know, artists got fans and the uh, artist is a fan of a, a of a, another artist. It's like they're not fans of each other. They're they're like you said competition, but they're not a fan. Like, oh, I can do what he doing. Well, but I'm a fan of somebody else's though. You a fan of Nicki Minaj or something like that, but you're not a fan of an independent artist? That's, that's right. You know, it don't make no sense. In case y'all don't know, and I'm going to let you know again, because she's speaking the word, what you heard. What I'm saying, Johannesburg, y'all ain't even understanding. She is putting the most in the most. Ladies and gentlemen, on the artist spotlight, is the one and only Patrice M. Going. Can, can I get it? Can I get it? Yeah, I, 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 I was trying. I was trying to act like we was really cool, cool, cool. But I see, I see she checked me on that. Patricia M. Goins, make the noise. Both originally from Ohio, so I guess we are. You know, right? We cousins. You know how that go. We family. We family. That's what it is. And uh, yo, yo, check this out though, because I know I can't wait. I can't wait. So you brought something for us to play, and my people hear it. So what I'm gonna do is slide to the side, turn my mic off, and let you introduce this cut we about to hear. So um, this song right here is called Superwoman. It's by the same producer who made the hit song "Live My Best Life." And um, so let's go get that money. Let's go get that money. Let's go get that money. Like Adam and Eve. We're a team. Different day, same story. Got to go out and get that money. Got miles to feed and bills to pay. Got to put that S on my chest today. Superwoman, superwoman. But woman needs her superman, superwoman, superwoman. Every superwoman needs her superman. Hey, I gotta pick up the pace. No more time to waste. Gotta put on my cape. I gotta win this race. I got far too much to stay. Different day, same story. Got to go out and get that money. Got miles to feed and bills to pay. Got to put that S on my chest today. Superwoman, superwoman. Every superwoman needs her superman. Superwoman. Superwoman, every superwoman needs her superman. Superwoman needs her superman. Superwoman needs her superman. Hey, I gotta pick up the pace. No more time to waste Gotta put on my cape I gotta win this race 
I got far too much at stake Superman, superwoman Like Adam and Eve And Bonnie and Clyde We taking over And that's no lie No mountain high With you by my side You're my superman yeah. Like Adam and me And Bonnie and Clyde We will succeed Superman Superwoman Like Adam and me And Bonnie and Clyde We taking over And that's no lie I got your back Baby, and you got mine Hey, let's go get that money Let's go get that money Let's go get that money Like Adam and Eve And Bonnie and Clyde We're a team Superman Superwoman Booyah, like there you go in your face, in your grizzle, for real zeal. That was hot. That was hot. I like the song. The song is hot. Super catchy, fragilistic, it be happy, docious. I mean, it, it, it's, it's like, it's the code. You ought to see my people, all three of them standing up. All three of my people in the studio standing up. They code. Uh, that song is hot. Where did the concept of that song come from? So basically, that's the soundtrack song for the movie that I did. This can't be right. And it came at a time when I was just trying to describe this woman who had overcome so much. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then not only that, but the everyday woman, because you have women every day who are doing it. They taking care of their home. They taking care of their husband or their significant other. They taking right, care of the kids. Right. They going out there working. They doing it. They making stuff happen. If a man ain't got a job, she got that. It's like women. We there are a lot of women who are super women. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they're even more powerful when they got a Superman by their side. So that's how that's. Woo! Y'all hear that? We can stand <laughs> united together. Kryptonite cannot <laughs> take us down. Uh, right, right. That's that's strong. That's strong right there. That that that's yeah, this song definitely is hot. Uh definitely gonna put that in rotation. Um Thank you. And 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 uh t- tell me some cause I know you're doing so much, man. What else is you doing? Cause you 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 might be that superwoman all the way. <laughs> For real, cause you doing like everything. You doing the all-star most. You know what? I um I'm an author. I write books. Um, I have a new release that I just a new book I just came that just came out called The Symbol. Um, I have another book called uh, Swingers. I have another book called Love House. I have like six published books. Oh. And anybody who wants to see my books, they can go to Patricia Goins books dot com. But yeah. Um, I do that. I make movies. Um, I have a movie called The Love House, a short film that we did some years ago that's on YouTube that has like a hundred thousand views. And then I um, just had a premiere for This Can't Be Love, which was the first book, first novel that I wrote. Um, that we just had a premiere in October, and it's going to be released. So, yeah, and then a radio show, of course. You know, I have my own radio show right. on the move here in Atlanta. So, yeah, I, I guess you can say I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah, you def- <laughs> you definitely doing the all star most. And uh, yeah, you 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 yeah you like the superwoman that you really singing about. That is that is right. Re- I like glad I to know you. Four kids now. Don't don't even forget about the four. Kids. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, man. you the, yeah you the superwoman. Yeah. I just want to say this like. Whoever said, oh, you got 18 years when somebody they found out somebody was pregnant. Y'all, why are y'all lying to them? <laughs> and why <laughs> <is> 18 years? <laughs> yeah, they, it, it, it stopped. It stopped where you you don't have to. Well, no, it don't really stop because eighteen. It yeah, it don't stop until you know they gone or you gone. So right. it it don't stop. It don't stop. Yeah, yeah. But they need they to need get stop out. Blind people. Right. They only got eighteen. Right. They they need to get out the basement though. That's my advice. Um, but you know, <laughs> in case y'all people didn't know. The, the superwoman that's doing it that's about to get Grammys and I'm gonna be her friend and everything because we gonna email each other and be friends forever because she can't get rid of me. This is 
Right. Like, ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, put your hands together for the coldest. And she told you she the coldest because she is the all-star superwoman. Give it up for Patricia M. Going. <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's hot to death. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's, you know, my sound effects is limited. Uh, so, <laughs> it's going down. Uh, you got to do something for me now. This is where I call prove the move. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is where you got to either tap dance, beatbox, do a hot 16. I don't care what you do. But you got to okay. show the people it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide to the side again, turn my mic off, and let you do what you do. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, do you remember when we were young? We had so much fun, no worries, no fears. All we wanted to do was hang out with our peers, catch football in a running track. Oh, how I wish that we could go back. Oh, oh, did y'all hear that? Did you hear that? Live and direct on the phone. On the phone. She did it on the phone. In your face. You see that? That was so hard. I got to say it like that. In your face. That was hard. That was hard. I got to say it like that. She done, she done broke it down for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely is the truth on the phone, especially on the phone. Because you just broke it down. You the truth. You the truth. Don't nobody can't tell you. I told you. You the truth. Uh, and people want to get at, at you. How do they get at you? Give all your social medias and all that stuff so they can get back at you. Okay, so um, you can catch me on Instagram as Patricia Marie Goins. That's P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A Marie, M-A-R-I-E Goins, G-O-I-N-S. Or you can catch me on Facebook, Patricia M. Goins. Or you can catch me on YouTube um, under Goins, on Miss Goins 1119. Um yeah, uh, and uh, my website is patriciagoinsbooks.com, or you can also go to aroundtheworldmedia.com and see all the different artists you've been working with throughout the years. Right, so y'all ain't got no excuse to say y'all can't get in touch with her because she everywhere doing everything. You might catch her flying oh, yeah, over your city. At ATW Radio. That's Twitter. At ATW Radio. Okay, okay, make sure y'all go and support that and check that out because that's the real right there. She's doing her one, <laughs> two out of ATL by way of Ohio. <laughs> by way of Ohio. Gotta put that right. Oh, we like to thank you uh, for coming. Oh, before we get out, you got some shout outs you want to do to your people for, for anybody? I sure do. I want to give a shout out to Kenneth Stout of Renegade Radio. I want to give a shout out to my co host on On the Move, uh, MBJ Live. I want to give a shout out to all my friends and family in Atlanta, um, in Ohio, um, Columbus, Ohio, and Half. I want to give a shout out to all the artists I work with in uh, Chicago, um, to my partner, Courtney Booster, to my sister, Nicole Goins. Um, Turner to my children who deal with a mama that's been chasing after a dream forever, <laughs> ever, ever, and just to everybody who supported me, my books, my movies, and just everything over the, over the years. And if I forgot to say your name, charge it to my mom. Okay, everybody. everybody that owe her money. All right, so uh, <laughs> we we gonna keep it one hundred. We like to thank you for coming out to the artist spotlight where we get up close and personal with the artists in the building. Uh, you always got an open door with us to come on through and do what you do. Uh, I appreciate it. We're going to play some music. We're going to get off into this and play some music. Matter of fact, we're going to let Patricia play the music. She don't even know it. She ain't even know it, but she know it now. So we're going to let her play the music from where she at because she a superwoman. That's what she do. So uh, <laughs> thank you for coming out on the spotlight. Y'all know me, your boy Rap Media Cool TLC. I holler when I see you. Peace.